We have a compound microscope whose objective focal length is five millimeters. Eyepiece focal length is two and a half centimeters. A sample is kept at six millimeters from the objective. Find the magnifying power of this microscope if the final image is formed at infinity. Let's quickly draw our compound microscope. It consists of two lenses. The objective lens is over here. The, uh, the principle of the objective, or the, the, the goal of the objective is to create a large magnified image. And as a result, we usually keep the uh, sample very close to the principal focus, but outside the principal focus. And we can see that the objective has a five millimeter uh, focal length, but it's kept at six millimeters, a little bit outside the principal focus. What this does is that this produces a large magnified image over here over here, and now we can further magnify this by using a magnifying glass or another convex lens, and this now acts like an object for this next convex lens that we're going to use. So here's our magnifying glass, another convex lens, and notice that since we want the final image to be formed at infinity, it, this means that the rays of light falling on our eyes have to be parallel to each other, and that can only happen if this object, this image, the, it's the image of the first lens, which is the object for the second lens, is right at the principal focus, because we've seen that only when you have objects at principal focus, the refracted rays are parallel to each other. So this is the setup that we have over here. And all we have to figure out now is what is the magnifying power of this? Now we've seen in a previous video, we've talked all about this in, in great detail in a previous video, and we've seen that the magnifying power of a compound microscope is just the magnifying, uh, the magnification produced by the objective, this is the linear magnification produced by the objective, multiplied by the magnification produced by the eyepiece. Now, if you're not familiar with this or you need more clarity, it would be a great idea to go back and watch that video and then come back over here. Let's see how we can solve this. To figure out the magnification of the produced by the objective, we just need to figure out what is the ratio of this image height to the object height. And guess what, we can do that because the object distance is given to us. You see, we know the object distance. This is given to us as six millimeters. We know the focal length of the objective. This is, the f this is of the objective, okay? So we know the focal length. So we can calculate the image distance. And so from that, we can f use the magnification formula and figure this out. So this is something we can do by just using the lens formula. How do we figure out the eyepiece magnification? Well. The eyepiece is just a simple microscope. So we can directly use the magnification of a simple microscope and solve this. So it would be a great idea to pause this video and see if you can try this yourself first. All right, let's do this. Let's start with figuring out the magnification produced by the objective, All right? So we'll first do the objective part. So here, we'll first try to figure out what the image distance is, and then we can use the magnification formula. So for that, we're going to use the lens formula. Lens formula is one over F. I don't want to write it down because you know we don't have much space, but one over F equals one over V minus one over U. So let's just directly substitute. One over F. Well, what's F here? Well, for the objective, F is five millimeters. So let's put that in, five millimeters. Now we have to be very careful with our sign conventions. The incident direction is always positive. Therefore, all the, all the, all the, positions to the right of this uh, optic center is positive. And our focal length, our principal focus is this one because the rays of light are going through over here. And so our focal length also becomes positive and that becomes plus five millimeters. So we're gonna keep everything in millimeters. Okay, so one over F equals one over V, which we don't know. So we'll just keep it as one over V minus one over U minus one over u, well u is the object distance. Well notice it's on this side, so that's negative, so that's negative six. And this negative times negative makes it positive, so this will end up becoming positive. So from this we can figure out what one over v is. So you just have to subtract one over six on both sides. So we get one over v as one over five minus one over six, minus one over six, and that gives us that gives us, we can take LCM as our common denominator, that's 30. This is multiplied by six. This is multiplied by five. So you get one over V as six minus five over 30. That means V, well, let's just make some more space over here. 
Okay, so what's V from this? From this, we can say V is 30 by one, so 30 millimeters. That's our image distance. So in our diagram, this distance from here all the way to here, that is 30 millimeters or about three centimeters. All right, now we can go for the magnification formula. So the magnification of the objective, that's what we want, we'll write that over here, magnification of the objective, is the height of the image divided by the height of the object. But it's also same as V over U, lens formula. In the lens formula you've seen, that's the same as V, that is 30 millimeters, we'll keep things in millimeters, 30 millimeters, divided by U, well U is minus six. That's over here, minus six. So that gives us minus five, Minus five, that's it, minus five as our magnification, which means the height of the image is five times more than the object. And the minus sign is just telling us it's an inverted image. We don't have to worry too much about the minus sign, we just need to know the number. The value is what we're interested in. So we got this, this is the first part. Next we need to figure out the magnification produced by the eyepiece. Well, that's the magnification of the simple microscope. And we've already seen before in previous videos that the magnification of the simple microscope which is our eyepiece over here, is just the ratio of the near point distance divided by the focal length of the eyepiece or the simple microscope, all right? Now the focal length of our simple microscope is given to us, let's just see what was that. It's given to us as, it's over here, 2.5 centimeters. So that's given to us, which means this distance, this distance is given to us as two, 0.5 centimeters, and D, near point, well, that's usually taken as 25 centimeters. It'll be either mentioned in the problem, but if it's not mentioned, we'll take it as 25 centimeters. So we know that as well, so that's 25 centimeters divided by 2.5 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters, and that's 10. That is 10 because, you know, this cancels. So you get 10, and so we found the magnification produced by the eyepiece as well. And so the total magnification produced by this compound microscope is going to be the product of this. And it makes sense, right? I mean, notice the first, this gets magnified five times, and then that gets further magnified 10 times, so the total magnification will be the product, right? So five times 10, that's going to be 50. We usually write it as 50x, or 50 times like this. Sometimes they could also ask you what is the distance between the objective lens and the and the eyepiece. Now you can see from the diagram, we can clearly see what that distance is. It is three centimeters plus 2.5 centimeters. So if that was asked, what is the distance between the two lenses, that's about five and a half centimeters in our example.